Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're ready to find the currents in a three-phase YY system. Notice we have a three-phase source and a three-phase load. So in order to find the three currents, I sub A, I sub B, and I sub C, we need to find what we call the Y impedance, the impedance of the Y configuration load. And to do that, we need to sum up the source impedance, the line impedance, and the load impedance. So Z sub Y is defined as the source impedance added to the line impedance and added to the load impedance. Although in this case, we were not given the source impedance, so we can get rid of that. And so this becomes equal to the line impedance, which is 5 minus J2. And we're going to add that to the load impedance, which is 10 plus J8. So together, this is 15 minus, oh, not minus, but plus J6. And now let's put that into the magnitude and phase angle format. So that would be 15 squared, whoop, 15 squared, uh, plus 36. Take the square root of that, which is 16.155. So this is equal to 16.155. And a phase angle of 6 over 15. Take the inverse tangent of that, which is 21.80 degrees, 21.80 degrees. All right, so this would be, of course, in ohms. This is the load impedance or the total impedance that the source sees. Now we can calculate the, the three currents because we know that IA, the current IA, is going to be equal to the voltage VA or V. A n, I should say, divided by the impedance z y impedance, like this. So this is going to be equal to 110 volts at a phase angle of 0 degrees divided by 16.155 at a phase angle of 21.80 degrees, which means that I a is therefore equal to 110 divided by 16.155. That would be 6.81, 6.81 amps at a phase angle of minus 21.80 degrees. And that would be, of course, in amps. So there's the current on line A. Now we do the same for line B. The current on line B is equal to V, B, N, divided by ZY. Of course, to be a, have a balanced system, all impedances are going to be exactly the same, but the voltages will be different because this one will be 110 volts at a phase angle of minus 120 degrees divided by 16.155 with a phase angle of 21.80 degrees, which is equal to, the magnitude will be the same, 6.81, but the phase angle will be this minus 120 which is 141.80 degrees. So this here will be current I sub B. And now for current I sub C, which is equal to VCN divided by the impedance of the Y combination, which is equal to 110 at a phase angle of minus 240 degrees divided by 16.155 with a phase angle of 21.80 degrees. And you can see the pattern, it'll be 6.81, I guess I should put an amp symbol there, with a phase angle of 240 minus, that would be minus 261.80 degrees. Now, if we take 261.8 and add minus and add 360 to that, we can also write this as 6.81 with a phase angle of a positive 98.20 degrees this is of course in amps and so this would be the current for the third line IC so you can express this one in either one uh, either format and so therefore we have the three currents for IA IB and IC and that is how it's done